Hola, teacher. Hola, no escucho. Give me one second. Ahora sí. <laughs> ¿Me escucha? Sí, hoy sí se oye. Ah, okay, cool. All right, good evening to so everybody. Uh, good evening, Carlos. So, how was your day, guys? How was everything in your work? Good for you that you are at home. Uh, uh, yes. Yo voy de camino. Was difficult. All right, cool. You're on your way home, Michelle. Cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, now you're not taking the bus. That's cool, man. That's cool. So, uh, some of your classmates are saying that they are not going to get connected today, and I don't know why. Uh, but anyways, we're going to start with a new topic that we're going to be doing tonight, all right? And also, we were about to do, I mean, we're about to do a uh, short feedback from the previous class, the class that we were talking, you know, like yesterday. So I'm going to pass the attendance list, and let's start with that, okay? Let's see, Andres Joel. <laughs> all right, he's not here. Carlos Mauricio. Is he not here? No, okay, not yet. Cindy Melanie. Cindy, Cindy. Okay, not here. Stephanie Michel. Present. Ah, okay, cool. Let's see. Ivania Jamilet. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Jacqueline Patricia. Okay. No there. Joanna Sarai. Okay, so you are as a listener. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Jorge Alberto. All right, neither Jorge, Jose Edgar. Okay, just now there. Let's move Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, perfect. Julio Cesar. Present. Now, okay, nice. Karen Beatriz. Mm. Ricky estaba conectada, Karen. I, 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 me pareció ver el gusto. Ok, anyways, she's not here. Mm, Carla Lisset. Present. No, ok, very good. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Ah, ok, cool. Verónica Arely. Present. Ah, ok, nice. Wendy Jamilet. Wendy, all right, she's not here. William Ernesto. All right, he's on the way home yet. He's not there. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Let's move. Carlos Josue. Present. Okay, cool. And the last one. Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here from the beginning. Give me one second, people, because there are a lot of people that are trying to get connected, but they say that uh, they cannot connect. Give me one second. All right, there are a lot of people that are not coming connecting. Jesus. Right. Hello? Yeah, I mean, it's Friday and <laughs> a lot of people are. Ah, come on, it's just like. Reinaldo is no se puede conectar porque no tiene muchos datos. Solo se ha conectado dos días de todo el curso. Jesus. But anyways, okay, let's 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 continue. All right, let's continue with this things. 
Uh, since you know, like today, we're going to have a very different topic in comparison to the one that we were discussing yesterday. Give me one second. I'm going to put something in here. But in order to start with those things, let's start talking about what were we doing yesterday. So just give me one second. I am putting in here because I'm I don't know why. I'm going to turn it on again. Give me one second. Okay. All right. But in the meantime, do you remember, guys, what was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? So let's talk a little bit about that uh, just to provide feedback, you know. It's it's good to 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 provide feedback so that way we can continue with the new topic. What was the topic from yesterday? Uh, would you mind and cool you? Ah, okay, cool. Would you mind and cool? What do you remember, guys, from that? What is would you mind and could you? When do we use them? What do would what do we use them for? Ajá. Would you mind? Es como un requerimiento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Could, could you es como podría, pero es bien en forma polite, no, ambos, ¿verdad? Yeah, both of them are very polite. When we uh, ask something in a very polite way, right? That's, that's, that's the uses of could you and would you mind? Okay, but let's start over talking about that. Give me one second. I need to open up the, it, the presentation because it's what happened to this. It doesn't want to turn on. It doesn't want to appear. All right, but let's let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, antes de que esta cosa se... Give me one second. I'm gonna put a whiteboard over here. So let's start with a short feedback. I don't know why this thing is so, it's very slow to you. Super slow. Uh, can you confirm if you can see a whiteboard on your screen? No se puede ver nada, si como ha quedado loading. Eh, no se puede ver una whiteboard? No, no, no. no. Let's... What? How oh, is frozen. Processing. Ah. Nah, man. Like for example, like, like right now, I'm I'm gonna try something. Look. Now, can you can you see what I'm writing? Basically, what I'm typing. Ahora sí que se puede ver. Ah, okay, cool. Perfect. All right. Let's remember this 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 topics this topics that we were uh, okay. All right. I guess you were saying that now you can see what where what I was writing. All right. Both topics, the ones that we were discussing yesterday was all right, and the first one. Cool you and the other one was would you mind if you remember okay let's remember what's the structure to use could you if you remember basically okay the one that we can generally use is like all right could you plus base form okay of verb plus what Let's complement, if you remember. Compliment. Okay, that's pretty much what we were discussing yesterday, right? An example of it, like this. Could you uh, turn on your camera? You see? And I got one question over there. Could you turn on your camera? What happens to this? Uh, it's gonna be like this. 
Okay, could you turn on your camera? So the possible answers that you should give, it's like, yes, of course. In a minute, right away, right now, okay. Any other one? Oh, just some simple, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, and that's another one, sure, right? That's another one. So you see, so you got different ways to answer one specific question, right? And that it's basically a request, a very polite request. That's what we call, right? Now, on the, on the other side, we got, would you mind? So we got, would you mind plus, okay. ¿Cómo va el verbo en esta, en esta estructura? ¿Alguien me puede decir? ING. Ah, verb in ING, right? Plus complement. And plus the question form. All right, this is the way. We got one example. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Would you mind? Nah, what? Would you mind? Something easy. Would you mind giving me a ride to my job? Would you mind giving me a ride to my job? You see, it's like tempo gratarilla, llevarme a mi trabajo. Okay. So the possible answer taken in consideration if all of them are in, in, in positive. Yes, sure, okay, right, in a minute. Yes, of course, right away or right now. You see, there are basically the same types of answer to this question right and if you take a look in there both of the questions are meaning the same all right so in este caso ambas preguntas significan lo mismo vienen a significar lo mismo y van dirigido con la misma intención okay con la misma uh, like like petición por así decirlo uh, formal so in this case, the only thing that changes in there is the structure. Entonces, podemos decir que lo único que cambia ahí es simplemente la estructura, ¿ok? Que una es could you, y luego el verbo en forma base, y el otro es would you mind, más el verbo en ing, ¿ok? Pero recordemos, ese ing no pertenece a ningún presente progresivo, right? That's not present progressive, ¿ok? So that's part of what we were discussing last class, right? So that was part of it. Cool. Let me see. Let me see because because I need I need this topic to be clear and I need you to remember part of it. So I'm gonna make some strike questions. All right. For example, Julio, would you mind giving me an example about the topic, please? Uh, could you open door? Could you? Uh, open door. Open the door. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Could you open the door? Okay, cool. The possible answer, remember? Yes, of course. Right away, in a moment, sure. Whatever, right? Solo que usted no me respondió la pregunta que yo le hice. You see? You would say, like, okay, and then your question, man, and then your example. Cool. Now, uh, let me see. Xiomara, give me one example using would you mind? Might be about anything. It might be about your work, it might be about your house. Uh, would you mind helping me with my homework? Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Xiomara. Veronica, give me one using could you?
Um, would you mind giving me ten dollars, please? Ah, uh, repeat again. Would you mind giving me ten dollars? <laughs> Would you mind giving me ten dollars? Okay. Oh, the one I said, right? Could you give me ten dollars? Okay. There you go. Thank you, Veronica. It was good. Carla, give me one example using could you. El could you or would yeah, you? Yeah, man. Could, could you? Could uh, you? Could you? Okay. Could you? Uh, could you the pre the prepare? Um, the meeting. Ajá. Could you prepare the meeting? Pero ese no fue el ejemplo que me dio ayer, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No. Ah, okay. I was kidding, Carla. Uh, would you let me turn computer? Nice, man. Nice. Thank you, Carla. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Estaba bromeando, Carla, y se fue directo a leerme las de ayer. Come on, Carla. <laughs> okay, cool. Carlos, give me one example would you, using would you mind. Would you mind? Yes, man. Would okay, you mind? Would you mind cooking with me? Ah, uh, okay, very good. Would you mind cooking with me? Yes, I will mind. Okay. <laughs> cool. Now, Michelle. Deje de picarse el ojo, Michelle. Give me one example. Y me pica. Vaya. Could you fold the clothes, please? Está bien. Could you fold? fold the clothes, please? The clothes? No, clothes, ropa. Ah, the clothes, clothes. <laughs> clothes, ah, the clothes. Why is she, is she thinking on candies or something like that? Okay, cool. Thank you, Michelle. I was just kidding with you. I, I know it was, it was close. Okay, cool. Uh, Emmanuel? Give me one example using could you? Okay. Could you pay me my, my bill? <laughs> okay, cool. Could you I'll pay? pay you. Sorry, could you pay? Could you pay the bill, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. Both ways are possible, Emmanuel. Cool. Now, let me see. Joanna, she's a listener. Raquel, give me one example, Raquel. You are not as a listener now. Raquel, are you there? Don't tell me you went to sleep, Raquel. Because I guess you're there. Raquel, are you there? ¿Qué se me hace que se despierta nada más para dar lista de asistencia? <laughs> Está Raquel. All right. Uh, let me see. Joel, are you there? Or are you just going? You just going to be as a listener? Not today, right? Andres. Yes, yes, teacher, pero eh, estaré de oyente por ahorita. No, de hecho, no puedo leer mucho. Ah, ok. Uh, I guess you're in the work. Ok, no problem. Jacqueline? No en el trabajo, pero sí, no, no estoy en casa todavía. Ah, ok. All right, cool. Jacqueline? Are you there, Jacqueline? Jacqueline, are you there? All right, she's not there. Ivania, give me one example, Ivania. I'm going to finish with you. The feedback from this. Um, could you 
clean my house. Could you clean my house? Okay, very good. And I will say right away. I will clean your house right away. Very good. Thank you, Ivania. Now I'm going to close this thing because we are not longer needed. Let me just let me put the presentation because it's kind of weird that it doesn't appear over here. And uh, today we're going to start with something different in comparison to what we were doing yesterday. So it has to be this one. All right, must be this one. Okay, guys, let's remember this is the video conference number 12. And tonight's topic is going to be how to use should and should not, right? This uh, structure is the one that we are going to be practicing for the rest of the night. The uses of should and should not. Have you ever heard about this, this uh, verb before? Habían escuchado sobre should and should not antes? Oh, es primera vez. Ah, ok. Michelle es first time. All right, cool. Aparte de Carlos, ¿quién más ya había escuchado sobre los usos de should and should not? Un poco es como debería, ¿no? There you go. Yeah, I mean, esa es la traducción. Debería. Ok. Cool. Something else? Someone else? Este should es como la, es la contraparte. El most, ¿verdad? Que todo sería como una sugerencia, nada más. Exactly. Should viene siendo nada más cuando damos consejos sobre algo. Right? That's pretty much what we're going to be explaining on. Right? So, I guess most of you haven't listened that much about this verb. So, today we're going to know the uses of it. And we're going to provide a series of examples. Okay? Let's just start over with that. All right, the most remarkable for the class agenda. We got the review from the previous class, something that we finished now. Yeah, right, so basically we finished that part. Yeah. Uh, after that, we are going to start with the uses of should and should not, right? And then we're going to have a short conversation, okay, that we need to practice, right? And after the short conversation, we're going to do a series of exercises in the manual, all right? So that's pretty much what we have. Before starting with the main topic, let's discuss this question, all right? From now on, people, we're gonna be discussing a series of questions because I am interested in you to produce the language, right? I want you to give your opinions, okay? In questions like the ones that we are going to be presenting right now. It says, Regulations in your company. All right, you know what are regulations in your company, right? But the first question is, check this out. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? This is a short question that we are going to be discussing right now. Listen up. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? La compañía para la cual trabajan ustedes tiene regulaciones right, para el comportamiento de sus empleados en everything? Yes or not? The one was like, yes, all right, I need a short explanation about what you're saying. Hmm. Let's start over with uh, 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 Michelle. Um, sí. Sí, tienen. Como cuando uno hace algo que está de, fuera de las políticas, por decirlo así. That's right, that's right. Ah, uh, sí, suspendido. Y si no, lo despiden. Suspended, ¿really? Sí, y si no, si es más grave, de una sola vez lo despiden. 
So in that case, no, no, ahí no va por advertencia. Uh, como cuando hace algo malo la primera vez, eh, ¿hay una advertencia? Eh, sí, pero no, pero quizás son como así que leves. Y lo más que ponen, digamos, como acciones de personal, pero por una falta leve. Pero ya cuando es así que algo ya bien grave, de un solo. Bye bye. Sí. Ok. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Interesting. Thank you for your participation, Michelle, Carla. And the place that you work, what do they do? Yes, eh, so, sean las tres acciones de personal, no cambia, ya en la cuarta es un despido. No, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Pero sí. en cada acción, in every action, o oh, oh, in every warning, eh, ¿hay alguna excepción? Sí, sí. Economically? Sí, yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Okay. That's pretty cool. Julio, how about yours? Mm, no mucho. Ay, es bien accesible. Como es una ONG. O sea, sí hay, regula, hay algo que regula, pero como debemos a proyectos, depende para qué zona esté trabajando, porque hay zonas donde no puede entrar cualquiera. Un ejemplo. Entonces ya está alguien definido. Ah, ok, all right. Tal vez administrativo sí, pero casi no, no hay problema. Ah, ya, yeah, man, And por, lo, por lo general las ONGs es it's like pretty different, the job es bastante diferente el trabajo, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like, like, like the job in an office. Ok, cool. Verónica, how about you? Let me see. Um, honestamente no he conocido ningún caso, solo descuentos por llegar tarde o no asistir. Oh my God. O sea que yo solo con descuentos pasara. <risa> por un minuto de llegar tarde. Jesus Christ. You know what? My, my time to, to, to entrance, to enter, to, to, to work is at seven. Seven o'clock, I had to be there. And sometimes I got 7.01, 7.02, 7 uh, o'clock, things like that. Pero nunca llego super, o sea, like super antes. Y a veces cuando llego super antes, así es que como que todos se sorprenden, así como que, pinche temprano. Like, yes, what happened? No, no, no. No, but yeah. the thing is that, the thing is that, yeah, I mean, they, they, they are super crazy, man. But sometimes the thing is that, no sé por qué, pero siempre, 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 que suele ir temprano, hay algo en el camino que, que me impide llegar temprano. You know, like, like because, because the street, okay, the street that I had to take is la litoral. And you know, en la litoral se ve de todo en algunos casos, especially in the morning. A veces hay ganado cruzando la calle. Uh, a veces hay accidentes, uh, a veces que, eh, I mean, anything happens sometimes. A veces hay, eh, me, me van a disculpar lo que voy a decir, pero a veces hay señoritas que van en carros adelante de, nos, uh, adelante de mí y se van maquillando a 40 kilómetros por hora. Just imagine, man. It's like, just to give an example, right? Y a veces uno queriendo sobrepasar ahí y no poder, right? Se estresa un poquito. So, in that case, siempre suelo llegar casi a la misma hora. So, entonces, no es, no es, no es por mí, pero igual. Right? Sometimes. Y, y pues ya no me puedo levantar más tarde, por, más, más temprano, porque, you know, I mean, I, I have to sleep. Just imagine, I, went, I, I got to bed at, what, almost 12, because I had to upload the video after the class, you know that. So I had to go to bed and sleep at about four hours or something like that. But one day, one day. Así que solo con descuentos pasar a Verónica. All right. But uh, entonces, eh, por faltas así como más, más graves, nunca he conocido un caso. Never. 
in your company? Hasta el momento, no. I mean, they are very calm people. Personas calmadas, so I know, como Michelle. Digo, donde Michelle. Llamados de atención, sí, a cada ratito, todos así. Yeah, right, yeah, right. I can say. I can tell that. Cool. Xiomara, how about you? And the place where you work? Ahí en el preso. Si uno quiere permiso personal, tiene que llevar una constancia, porque si no descuentan, dice séptimo. Ah, really? El séptimo día. Ay, Sí, o sea, descuentan el día en que uno falta y al siguiente uno va a trabajar de gratis, por decirlo así. Uh -huh. Y los permisos, aunque sean personales, son siempre tienen que ser justificados y llevar, tiene que llevar una constancia de por qué ha faltado. Y siempre lo descuentan. Ouch. Mm -hmm. sí, that's, yeah, I mean, that's a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah, complicado. yeah, I mean, but anyway, we gotta get accustomed to that. All right, cool. Carlos, and in your case, man. Carlos. Yeah, I man, you're the only Carlos right now. <laughs> okay, pues, pues las ocasiones son típicas para que por llegar tarde o bueno, cosas así, ¿verdad? Eh, el descuento, como decía, el día séptimo. Eh, eso es todo, ¿no? es, lo más, es lo más común. Ok, it's not mm -hmm. something like, like, like super okay, bad to, 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 to make or the, that people make. So they got my got fire. Donde estaba antes, sí, dice que antes daban un bono que estaba, bueno, un bono, ¿verdad? Al mes de, de 120 dólares. Entonces, si uno tenía una advertencia, la segunda y la tercera en un mes, ya no se llevaba el, el bono completo. Entonces era bien doloroso. Por ejemplo, si yo tenía una falta, no pasaba nada. Si me, ya tenía dos faltas, me daban solamente la mitad del, del bono. Si tenía las tres, no me daban nada. Uh, interesting. All right, that, that, that's, that's interesting. Nice. Cool. Let me see. One more participation with, before we move on. I ask. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Ivania. How about the place that you work, Ivania? Ivania, are you there? Hello, Ivania. <laughs> I think like 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 the camera is like moving, but I don't listen to Ivania. Ivania, are you there? Well, she went to sleep. Emmanuel, how about you, man? Yeah, because Ivania, I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, uh, it has um, regulation about the behavior of the employee. For uh -huh. example, if someone is just hitting at someone, they, they receive a, a hint mm -hmm. for the administration. And if you didn't come to work in the week, you receive a discount and the end to the salary ah. and also. Okay, it's like a normal company, right? The main discounts and everything. Yeah. No, really, okay. That's interesting. That's cool. All right, let's move out with that. Then. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Okay. It says, name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Something that might not be acceptable for, for the company. All right. For example, in the place I work, in the place I work, Spanish is not allowed for teachers. Even for basic classes. The basic classes have to be 100% English. So it means that if I speak 
Spanish during the class, so I might get a warning, right? Eh, lo tomarían como una, uh, como una falta bastante eh, grave, por así decirlo, right? Because the politics of the company is that eh, they, uh, their classes are 100% just in English, right? Como su política es 100% inglés, eh, desde básico, you know, like the front everything. So if I speak Spanish, so I am not, you know, like following the rules. That may be one unacceptable behavior. What about the companies? Right? It says three, pero viendo la situación del tiempo que tenemos, eh, no hagamos tres. Me, mencionenme una, just one, que es considerada en su lugar de trabajo como unacceptable. Un comportamiento que ustedes puedan tener que no sea aceptado en su compañía. What would be? Ya les mencioné el mío, right? Que no debo hablar español eh, en las clases. From there. How about you? I'm going to start with... Uh, let me see. Most of you went to sleep, man. Emanuel, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Uh, you have to complete 10 hours to work. Nah. You complete the period of the day. You receive a session. Mm, okay, cool. That might be one. There you go. Or the, you could you could left the the spot, and maybe you are playing with with some with someone else. So if the team leader, so this situation you receive a motivation. Mm, now okay. Interesting. There you go. Carla. Estaba pensando. <laughs> uh -huh. Something that is not acceptable in your in your work. Um eh, tener los celulares en las manos. Having the cell phone in the hands. Uh -huh. cell phone, person. Celular, the teléfono personal. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. Porque yeah. sucedió un problema en la empresa que una compañera tenía su teléfono en la mano y como que estaba pasando la información. No sé si era su novio, su esposo o no sé. Entonces puso un reclamo él y fue que la despidieron. Entonces, por eso que ya no permiten. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Sorry for her. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's an unacceptable behavior. Cool. Nah, me pensé que Carla durante el trabajo pasaba en Facebook. Así. Ay, qué gala. Así me puedo distraer un rato, pero no. Viendo no videos está, sí. en Facebook. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, that's understandable. Cool, Carla. Michelle. Mm, oh, yo sería cuando no me cuando dejo de cuadrada una cuenta contable <risa> cuando deja qué descuadrada una cuenta contable es que vaya yo desembolso y me dan unas cuentas de dónde sacar el dinero si yo y en el día eso me tiene que quedar cuadrado si yo no cuadro eso es una falta grave y me lo descuento. Ah, interesante. Eso sí, por eso, si algo no me cuadra, tengo que quedarme hasta que cuadre y que no, no esté ese valor perdido, digamos así. Sí. Numéricamente. Ah, ándale. I mean, that's, that's complicated. Sí. <laughs> working with numbers and working with money, that's really complicated. Jesus sí. Christ. Pero gracias a Dios nunca me ha pasado. Nice, man. Nice, nice. Y no pase como a un amigo que es, es cajero y el primer mes, la primer quincena de su trabajo eh, se le perdieron 200 dólares en caja. Sí. <laughs> Ouch, eso es, es complicado. Y eso man. que yo estoy en caja, fíjese. 
Yeah, I mean, just imagine. But working with money is complicated in that way. Yeah. Yes. But anyways, cool if you understand everything, everything of that. That's interesting. That's super interesting. Teacher, y me imagino que se lo descontaron, ¿verdad? Yes. Tuve que reponerlo. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that type of work is like that. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways. Cool. Uh, Veronica, how about you? What would be something considered, uh, you know, like offensive or unacceptable behavior? In your no. company. No sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero este, <risa> una vez sucedió que, bueno, como en mi trabajo se, se llevan muchos procesos de federaciones deportivas y todo eso, entonces lo que sí es bien prohibido es que hayan familiares o personas muy cercanas o del mismo círculo en algunas federaciones o asociaciones diferentes como que alguien sea entrenador y esté en la junta directiva de otra, por ejemplo. Ah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's acceptable. Yeah, because family might not be permitted. No, okay, cool. And you, Mr. Chavez? Okay, thank you for example, in my last job, uh, maybe... Uh, when I bring my cell phone. When you when you use your cell phone. Cuando yo mi teléfono era un prácticamente era un delito porque a eso se le llamaba social engineer porque cuando estábamos en la operación había como un detector de metales cuando pasaba uno la operación. Entonces, eh, lo que era lápiz, papel o el teléfono, no podía pasarse. Entonces, a mí me pasó una vez de que no sé cómo, eh, llegaba tarde para, la, para el trabajo y me pasé así. Llegué a la operación con el teléfono y cuando estaban llamadas y todo, sentí el teléfono y lo de, ya, ya arreglaba. Entonces, lo que pasó fue que le fui sincero al supervisor, fíjate que. Ya, ya, ya venía tarde y, y se me fue y, y no y no dejé el teléfono. Pero sí es grave, él me ayudó. Habló con un, con un vigilante y era el tranquilo y todo. O sea, dale permiso. Y así lo bajé porque si no, te pido directo. Porque la información, pues ahí va. O sea, entre comillas, ¿verdad? Lo que hacen es que el teléfono es que lo decomisan y lo revisan, todo, 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 el WhatsApp, es que las fotos cada uno, hay en el código. You're, you're, you're sexy tipo. pictures, man, <laughs> and everything. Okay, no, man, that's, that's true. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, that's, that's yeah, I mean, ah, working in that in those places is, is a little bit of com uncomfortable sometimes. Super uncomfortable. Pero es que a veces nos hacen pecar muchas personas, right? A veces cometen algo eh, y, y, y pues debido a eso pues tenemos que acoplarnos nosotros a nuevas normas. Pues bueno, that's, that's, that's part of the job, right? Cool. And the last one, Julio Cesar. I'll start with you. I'm going to finish with you. Yeah. Eh, pues hay varios. Primero, revelar información de los salarios. Yo veo todos los salarios de los proyectos. No. Nice. Eh, plan de trabajo de los proyectos presupuesto de los proyectos <risa> y, y el otro ahorita como está con lo de las ONGs y yo trabajo con un proyecto de Estados Unidos no podemos revelar información del socio <risa> de qué ONG de Estados Unidos nos financia por lo mismo de, de nuevas ideas ahorita interesante <risa> mm. uh -huh. so I told you where you, you will give uh, information Okay, that's pretty interesting. Give me one second. All right, there you go. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so this is part of an acceptable behavior that we might have 
in the places that we work, right? Now, let's move on to the main topic that we're going to be discussing right now. So, this is the use of should. Si recuerdan ayer, estuvimos hablando sobre would you mind y estuvimos hablando sobre could you. All right, pero ya tomándolos como verbos, verbos auxiliares, simplemente sería would y sería could. All right? Entonces, ahora vamos a ver should que es parte también de la misma línea de los verbos modales, así se le llaman, o en inglés, modal verbs, right? ¿Para qué sirven estos verbos? Nos sirven básicamente para ir acompañando el verbo principal y poder denotar cierto grado de obligación, habilidades, right? Compromisos, solicitudes, etc. Right, uh, the one that we are going to be practicing tonight it's just not a verb of obligation. It's a verb that shows advice or suggestion to do something. And that's what it says in here. Look at this. Uh, let me see. Xiomara, help me read in the short definition that we got about should. Shul is used to make suggestions and give advice. There you go. Thank you. Listen up. Shul is used to make suggestions and give advice. All right. Es básicamente usado para dar sugerencias. Ok. O proveer algún tipo de consejo. Ok. For something. When something we think is good to do. We got some examples, of course. Check this out. Michelle, help me read in this example. Uh, you should call your family. All right, you should call your family. All right. Supongamos, Michelle, que usted tiene mucho tiempo de estar viviendo sola, right, y no tiene contacto de su familia, all right, y por algún motivo usted no ha podido llamarles, y usted me cuente sobre la situación, y yo le diga, hey, Michelle, you should call your family. Ah, deberías llamar a tu familia. You see? So, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Un consejo. Exactly. Entonces, ¿qué estoy haciendo ahí? Básicamente le estoy dando un consejo de qué hacer, right? O básicamente le estoy dando una sugerencia, okay? De qué hacer. So, in that, in that case, it's when we use should. Another example. All right, check this out. Ah, uh, la, 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 let me see who is there, who's there. Jesus Christ. Emmanuel, help me read in this example. Emmanuel, are you there? Yes. Okay. I should work every day. Okay, there we go. I should work every day, right? If you don't work, you don't get money. If you don't get money, you want to buy food. If you don't want to buy food, you will die of hungry. So in that case, let's remember, to is mostly to provide advice or suggestion. Another example. Take a look at this. Veronica, help me read. Mario should go to the meeting. Ah, ok, very good. Mario should go to the meeting. Right? Como Mario debería ir a la reunión. Something that I want you to be clear with this. Listen. Algo que quiero que siempre recuerden. Con respecto a las categorías de estos verbos que son considerados verbos modales. Listen up. Estos verbos son un tanto especial en su aspecto. Que inclusive eh, uh, conjugándolos en eh, singular de presente simple recordemos que el presente simple por lo general le agregamos s e s o i e s al verbo ok to make it in third person pero en este caso estos verbos no se les agrega s e s o i e s right toda vez que vean el verbo could should would en tercera persona no lleva s Right, they don't ha uh, have that change. Tal es el caso de este ejemplo que tenemos acá. Check this out. What it says in here. 
Mario. So let's remember that Mario is basically when we talk about third person, right? Ya aquí estamos hablando de una tercera persona. Ok. So, por lo tanto, en la mayoría de casos, el verbo se le agrega S. Pero en ese caso, su right, va de manera a base y luego el complemento de la oración. But in this case, let's remember, guys. Acá no lleva S. If you take a look in there, it doesn't have any S. All right. Entonces, por lo tanto, si el primer verbo no lleva S, tampoco el segundo. All right. So, Mario should go to the meeting. So, remember, after should, the main verb has to go there. Okay? After should. Look. Look at this part. Now, so let's remember. Two, 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 two definitions, two uses of this word. Now, let's move on. Let's meet a little bit about the structure. Okay, let's start with the structure from this. And what is the structure? Carla, help me out reading the structure, please. Subject, glass, shoe, mm -hmm. glass, bay for form of verb, uh -huh. glass complement. Thank you. So, subject, recordemos el subject puede ser un nombre propio, un pronombre, whatever. Then, should. Then, the base form of the verb, la forma base del verbo. And then, the complement, para ser más específico. Okay. Uh, the meaning. Now, we got an example. Mm -hmm. Let me see who can help me read this. Someone that has not participated that much in the class. Carlos Mauricio. You should go home after work. Okay, very good. You should go home after work. Right? Like, deberías ir a casa después de... Trabajar, ¿eh? Y después del trabajo. Cool, Carlos Josué. Mr. Chávez, ayude. No, ok, aquí está desconectado, anyways. Ana me dice. Ok. Todo. Ah, let me see. Uh, Give me one second. Sería. Ah, the last one. Ok. He should greet her clients. Ah, ok, very good. She should greet her clients. You see? Ella debería saludar sus clientes. You see? So, in that case, remember, should is mostly to provide right some kind of advice or okay a suggestion about something let's remember that let's look at the last one it says they should buy a car Una duda. Este, yes en la última que leí que dice eh, en sí tool great yo pensé que decía great pero dice great verdad ¿Qué significa es, es great great uh -huh. what do you mean that ¿Qué significa? Uh -huh. Greet significa saludar. Ah, ok. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, bien. All right, no problem. So, greet means saludar en este caso. All right, let's move on. It says, they should buy a car. Ellos deberían comprar un carro. Right, so what are we doing in that case? We are showing somehow, all uh, right, uh, I can say this. The suggestion, right? A suggestion to do something with uh, some kind of money that that people might have. Good. I don't know if you're getting standing in this case with this uh, structure. Are we okay? Are we working okay? Hay algo que no comprendamos del todo sobre should. 
¿Alguna pregunta? About something? Or everything no, it... is getting fine? Hmm, okay, cool. Listen up, listen. Uh, in this case, Ajá, mister. Acabo de ir a la clase, entonces, entonces tengo la duda de tercera persona, no, 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 no. En tercera no, persona no se no, modifica no. el verbo. Si se fija en tercera persona, okay. en present, sí. por lo general la mayoría de verbos se les agrega S, si lo recuerda, o S. Oh, yeah. ah, pero eh, con, el, con, este, con este verbo auxiliar, porque should es un verbo auxiliar, no se usa eh, la S. ¿Ok? So, en tercera persona, okay. cualquier singular no se usa la S. Very good. So, that's part of it. Now, people, listen up. Quiero que escojan a uno de sus compañeros, all right? Creo que pueden ver las, 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 las pantallitas ahí, ¿ok? Y quiero que a uno de sus compañeros ustedes le den una sugerencia sobre algo que ustedes ven, all right? Emanuel, turn on the, the camera, please, for a moment. Quiero que le den una sugerencia a Emanuel también, right? Yeah, a mí es de uh, Joana. Aunque esté de oyente, Joana puede participar en el chat. Are you in your house, Joana? Oh, no yet. Give me one second. I'm going to read. I like this. Okay. Yeah, but si está en su casa, turn on the camera, Joana. Para que le den una sugerencia. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yo he hecho una parada técnica. <laughs> una parada técnica. Todavía no llego a mi casa. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. So, pero quiero que vean ahí a, a, a una, una screen de sus compañeros, entonces, y le den una sugerencia. Escriban la oración usando should, right? Y luego cuando la hayan terminado, just tell me, Eric, hey, teacher, I got the, the, the example, and that's it. Just let me know when you finish. Yo tengo una. No, okay, Michelle, who, who is director the example that you have? Pero me podría decir tamal, yo quiero decir. Uh -huh. Vaya, Julio, you should share the wallpaper. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you should change the wallpaper. Okay, debería cambiar el fondo de pantalla. <laughs> <laughs> a, yo, a, se me hace que esa fue no fue para, para Julio sino para mí right? no pero ya lo cambié sí, I have another one I have a different one ah ok Joana pero igual puede probar su, su suggestion a través del chat ok cool. thank you Michelle now Julio como usted fue el sorteado let's go man let's read your example She should drink a coffee. <laughs> Pero quién, man? quién? Uh, compañero, ¿sí? Dígale así de solo. All right. Eh, eh, el eh, nombre y ahí dígale. You should drink eh, more eh, coffee. Eh, fue para Michelle, man. Ah. <laughs> you should drink more coffee, Michelle. Yo no, voy a tomar café, man. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué? Pero le gusta el café, Michelle. You like coffee? Sí, me gusta. Ah, ok. Pecado si no le gustaran. But anyway, that's cool. That's cool. All right, nice. Somebody else has finished? Aquí ya no puedo seguir la secuencia porque Michelle, iba a Julio y Julia, Michelle, come on. Like, me ataron ahí. I cannot continue with the rest. So, ¿alguien que ya haya terminado? Yo. Ok, go, Carlos. <laughs> Yeah, one second. Okay. Um, Xiamara, should you should, should show your face? You should show your face. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> okay, and we want to see your face. Hey, I mean, it's true. No, no entendí lo que dice. You, you should show. Face. You should show your face. No, yeah. Debería mostrar tu cara. Your no face. te conozco. Your Facebook, no. man. Yo pensé que se refería a Face como a Facebook. No. <risa> Entendí, man. Yo pensé que me dijo que debería cerrar mi Facebook. Lo siento. También porque lo está usando, dice Carla. Ah, oh, no. <risa> no, no. I am in it's true. We want to know you, Xiomara. Turn, turn, turn the camera down, man. When I see you. Mm, es que no me gusta. Only Pero... once, man. Solo una vez, man. Let me see. Vaya. De rojo, de rojo. No le gusta. <laughs> Tan joven y ya no le gusta que la vean. Es que right. no me gusta, teacher. <laughs> que a veces me das... Me da un poco de sueño y estoy ya la conozco. Ya la conozco. Ah, ya la conozco. Where from? ¿De dónde, Carla? No, o sea, ya le conozco ah. el rostro. Ya, ya sabe quién soy. Ya. Ah, que la miraba, okay. pero solo le miraba en la parte de arriba del pelito. Sí, man, lo, lo rojo de acá, ¿verdad? Right? Sí. Ah, okay. yeah, Vaya, ya me conozco. Okay, all right, cool. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool, thank you, Carla. Now, Xiomara, read your suggestion and tell me where the suggestion goes to. To you? To me? Ah, yes. Okay. You should drink enough water every day. Actually, I mean, I should drink, but I'm kind of lazy, man. I forgot it. De hecho, sí, tengo que. Soy bien, bien, bien aragán para tomar agua. Ah, ok. La divina entonces. Exactly, man, you, you got it. Uh, only in classes, I mean, I, I start drinking and drinking water. Y, y ya después, I mean, it's like, like weird, pero en el día quizás lo que pasó en aire acondicionado es como que no da mucha sed. Ah, ah, sí, a mí gracias. también me pasa lo mismo, pero hay que tomar suficiente. Yes, man, I know, I know. I know. Me voy a poner contrario un... este, che, porque el aire acondicionado deshidrata. Really? Ajá, imagínense y, no, y casi no tomo agua. Ya se me hace secar los riñones. But anyways, ok, cool. Well, let's continue. Ah, thank you for the suggestion. Vamos a ver. Ahora yo voy a, a dar una sugerencia entonces para seguir con el proceso. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, can I... Va a ser una yo tichera. A ver si me bien. Ah, okay. I will give you the suggestion. I will give the suggestion to you. Para, para. All right. Uh, uh, Car Carlos Chavez. Ah, you listen. should let you should let hair grow again. Ah, uh, you should let your hair grows up again, right? Yo, yo escri escribí let hair grow again. Yeah, I mean, let your hair grow up again or grows again. Mm -hmm. Let grow again, Matthew. Yes, man. He used to be look, I mean, he used to look very different. Pero para, Remember? para donde, a donde se, a donde, donde le digo que desde el cabello. Ah. Le estoy sugiriendo que debería uh -huh. de crecer el cabello otra vez. That's exactly, uh -huh. that's, what, that's, that's what you were saying. You should let your hair grow up again. Sí, sí, ya me gracias. Eso me lo contó la vida. <laughs> no, man. Era otra persona diferente. It's like, like, like. Nada que ver a, a la presentación de Carlos now, nowadays. Nah, man, Carlos andaba el cabello hasta como por acá, right? He was like rude and everything. Terminaba así todo rude. Ahora no, nah, man, it's, it's more formal. It's more formal. Look. Todo así, man, es más filósofo. Right, Carlos? Okay, 
Why is the device? I am in uh, outfit. That was part of the outfit. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, Carlos, give a, give a suggestion. Okay, teacher, I have um, I have a suggestion for Ivania. I, uh, where is Ivania? I'm in uh, Ivania. Ivania, are you there? Okay, I am in Chazer. Okay, go. You two a smile. Mentally. You two mm, smile. Yes, you two a smile. Hey, when you mention this in a maca, yes, yes, yes. Right, Ivania? Yes, I tengo maca. Se escucha, Ray, se escucha. Yeah, you're in a hammer. Nah, man, dice Carlos que debería de sonreír más, dice. <laughs> ah, there you go. Ahí está la sonrisa. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ivania, give your suggestion. Where is Carlos, by the way? Se fue, creo. Mm -hmm. Ivania? Um, yo tengo, uh, are you sure wash my closet? <laughs> uh, and the suggestion is for? Uh, ¿Para quién es la sugerencia? Para Xiomara. <laughs> All right, Xiomara, do you listen? Debería de lavar su ropa, dice Ivania. Yo creo que es dormido. Ivania. No, nah, me han dicho en Facebook, I think. <laughs> right, Ivania? I mean, Ivania. Xiomara. Se durmió, Xiomara. Sí, yo creo que se durmió sobre la, la silla. Por eso es que no pone la cámara, para que no la veamos que está dormida. That's why. Ah, ok. Interesting. Ya la cachamos. Nah, man, right now it's like, like Raquel sleeping, right? Okay, cool. Now, Emmanuel, give your suggestion, Emmanuel. Thank you, Vanya, by the way. Okay. Should practice English. So, uh, uh, to whom is, is, is the is the uh, suggestion? Because we don't listen that much. You should practice. All right, you should practice. Ah, oh, man, I think you got problems with the internet. But I, I, I'm pretty sure that your suggestion was you should practice more English, right? Is that your suggestion, Emmanuel? Jesus, se le fue el internet, creo. All right, anyways, let me see you. Who, who's next? Uh, I'm in Joanna, I think I, she got there. Raquel, you should take a bath every day. <laughs> si leo eso, se va, se va a enojar Raquel conmigo, Joanna. Raquel, you should take a bath every day. Raquel debería de bañarse todos los días, dice eh, Joana. Y Raquel, I mean, super sleeping right now. Nah, man, si Raquel a dormir se viene a mi clase. Nah, hombre, Joana, aconsejela. <laughs> ok, cool. <laughs> There you go. Let's continue. 
let's continue with that. I think you were the last one. Let me see. Andres is no longer participating. Carlos Yami has already participated. Veronica, did you participate already? No, right? No. Okay, give a suggestion. Es para todos. Ajá. You should go to therapy. What kind of therapy, man? What? Therapy. What kind of therapy? Deberían ir a therapy. Yeah, I mean, what kind of therapy? Hay diferentes clases de terapia. De, 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 de motricidad, mentally speaking, you know, like something. Pero, ¿cuál podría recomendar yo? <laughs> Para el estrés, quisiera yo. <laughs> Psychological therapy. For the backache. ¿Qué? For the backache. No entiendo. ¿Para el dolor de espalda? No, para la salud mental. Ah, eso es... Nah, man, es, es bonito estar crazy. It's better. It's better. No. Right, Giselle? I mean, Michelle? <laughs> sí, eso sí. You love being crazy? Yeah, I mean, everybody loves being crazy right now. <laughs> nah, man, bien entrenado tiene, no tiene Verónica right, con salud mental y sex. Nah, man, Verónica. Si, le puse, si, si, si nos diera terapia, creo que eh, acabaría igual que nosotros. Dice. <laughs> ok, nah, man, let's continue. Nah, man, but that, that's cool, that's cool. Salud mental. Le voy a hacer precio, ahí. Eh. Ok, what is, what, is, what is exactly your profession, Verónica? Miss psychology. Does that a psychology? Yes. Really? Ah, interesting. Mm. Mm. Luego hablamos. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go with the next pair of things that we got. Okay, now let's put the negative form. Now. Let's talk about the things that you should not do. Ahora vamos a hablar sobre aquellas sugerencias sobre cosas que ustedes no deberían de hacer. Right? That's completely different. All right, but give me one second. Give me one second. All right, guys. Just give me one second because I had to pass the attendance list. It's 9 or 14 and no me acordaba que tenía que pasar la asistencia. Give me one second. It's just right out of time. Según yo todavía eran las ocho. No, okay, cool. Andrés Joel. Andrés Joel, are you there? No, okay, let's suppose he's there. Carlos Mauricio. Present teacher. All right, nice. Cindy Melanie. Okay, Cindy is not here. Ruru, Michelle, Stephanie, Michelle. Present. Nice. Ivania Yamilet. Present. Perfect. Jacqueline Patricia. Present. All right, nice. Joanna Sarai. I am in the chat. Okay, Jorge Alberto. Jorge didn't get connected. Let's see. Jose Edgar. Neither Jose Edgar. Juan Emanuel. Present. All right, cool. Julio Cesar. Present. Very nice. Let's move. Karen Beatriz. I thought Karen was connected, but she's not. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, Raquel Stephanie. Raquel Stephanie, are you there? 
Nice, she's not there. Wendy Jamilet. Okay, she's not here. William Ernesto. I mean, William is still working. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Carlos Josué. Present. All right, and the last one, Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's just start over with should not. It says. Let me see who can help me out. I need a volunteer. Un voluntario que me ayude a leer, please. Okay, go, mister. Should not be used to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. Ah, okay, thank you. Let's remember, it says, should not be used to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. Es acá básicamente cuando hablamos sobre algo que no es apropiado, right? That's what it says. Examples. Mr. Gamero, help me on reading this. Darío sure not use many emojis in his emails. Ah, okay, very good. It says Darío should not use many emojis in his emails, right? So that is not something appropriate. Yeah, eso ya no es algo que debería de hacer, right? So that's, that's the way how we put a negative form. All right, next example. Carla. Helen should not speak so loudly. So loudly. Loudly, perdón. Loudly, ajá, uh -huh, loudly. Loudly means uh, alto, right? It's like Helen should not speak so loudly. Ah, Helen no debería de hablar muy alto. All right, just to put it away. Next, look at this. Aquí ya lo que hacemos es unir chul plus not. Ok, y creamos una palabra que se pronuncia como shouldn't. Listen up, shouldn't. That's the pronunciation of the word, ok. So it says, Listen up. Gabriel shouldn't tell sexist jokes, right? Gabriel no debería de decir bromas sexosas, por así decirlo, right? That's something inappropriate. Y ahí es algo inapropiado. Let's finish this series of examples with this part, where it says, uh, Veronica. Your boss shows show at you. Shouldn't. 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 Shout at you. Okay, shouldn't shout at you. You know what is shout, Veronica? No sé. What is shout, everybody? Shout. Eso iba a preguntar. For example, for example, Michelle, let's suppose I am your boss, okay? And this is my voice, quietly, right? Quiet. And then I got angry and I said, Michelle, you have to go in a hurry to your house. So what am I doing? I am shouting at you, raising your voice. So what is that? Es como hablar alto o fuerte. Okay, de una manera más fuerte? What is that? Gritar. Exactly, exactly. Gritar. So that's shout. Okay. Otro sinónimo que podemos usar aparte de shout es este. Look, solo para que lo tengan ya en su vocabulario. Look, es gel. Gel. 
Yao significa si lo mismo. Significa lo mismo. Significa gritar. Yell at me. Right, grítame. Cool. Very good. Now, let's move to the next part. Okay, cool. I guess you have already finished with this part. Let's say thank you. But before the thank you part, okay, let's do something about things that we should not do. Okay, cool. Let's do the same with a very uh, specific person from this class, but now giving a suggestion about something inappropriate. Okay. Ahora bien. Pero veamos a uno de nuestros compañeros con un ejemplo sobre algo que es inapropiado para ustedes que esa persona hace. All right? Something inappropriate. Let's provide with one example with that. Bien. Pero veámonos entonces con un ejemplo de esos. Let me know when you finish. Y me lo hacen saber cuando hayan terminado, ¿ok? Pueden usar ya sea should not o lo pueden hacer contractado. Shouldn't. Let's go. Let me know when you finish. Y me lo hacen saber cuando hayan terminado. Just let me know. I'm going to stop the presentation over here. Because it doesn't longer need it. Okay, just let me know when you're done. Okay. Let's see if I'm done when I'm done, okay? Teacher. Hello. Sorry, ¿qué tenemos que hacer, dijo? <laughs> okay, give a suggestion about something negative to one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros lo mismo, ok, pero ahora le una sugerencia sobre algo que no debería de hacer. Ok. Yeah, man. Ok, let's go. For example, you should not turn on your cameras. I mean, turn off your cameras. No deberían eh, apagar sus cámaras, right? That's a suggestion about something that you should not do. Esa usó la de sí, una Tengo una, pero no sé si está bien. Ok. ¿Para quién pero va? Pero esa es para mí personal. Ok, cool. <laughs> I shouldn't speak Spanish in English class. Nice, man. Nice. Perfect. Ok. Tiene que cumplir eso. Sí. Ok. Let me see. Uh, let me see who, who said that uh, has already finished. Ok. Let's go, Julio. I know you want okay. to share your. Uh, Michelle shouldn't watch many cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you shouldn't watch too much your cell phone, man. It's like, no debe de ver tu teléfono por mucho tiempo. Ah. Como supo. <laughs> Lo normal, dice Michelle, unas 12 horas, dice. Como ocho horas. Un, un día de trabajo. Me like, ok. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Verónica, give your suggestion about something in negative. Es, you shall not eat making noise. 
Ah, okay, give me one second. You should not. It's making noise. No sé si así es, pero. Ah, you mean uh, that type of people that is eating and it's like opening the Ajá. mouth and everything. Really? ¿Quién mm -hmm. usted eso de que quiere hacerle así cuando están haciendo leche? <laughs> sí. <laughs> recuerde, recuerde, tu salud mental es lo primero. ¿eh? No, no pero es que eso no es problema mío, es de quien lo hace. Sí. Ah, no, pero si yo ya estoy no, a la par. Ya, ya nos ya no, ya no analizó a todos. Exacto. <risa> no, pero si yo estoy a la par suya haciendo eso, ¿no crees dar en la boca o no? Probablemente. <risa> Por eso le digo, mire, respire, inhala, exhale, salud mental primero, Baranita. <risa> Lo que Me nos dijo a todos. <risa> oh, my God. Ok, cool. cool. Yeah, I mean, there are people like that. Hay muchos que son así. At the moment of eating. Cool. Carla. Let's go, Carla. No tengo todavía, Tich. You should not. Okay. Take too much time to do the example. Cool. Carlos. Eh, Josué. Let's go, mister. Susana should not tell me lies. Ah, uh, who? Susana should not tell me lies. Ah, Susana. Okay, all right. There you go. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Now, let me see. Uh, Mr. Mauricio. Let's go. Why not? I mean, that's easy, man. Okay, cool. Continue doing it. Emmanuel, read your example. I shouldn't let him complete my goal. Ah, okay. All right. Interesting. Let me see someone else. All right, and uh, Andres, I think, is, is not participating. Raquel is not there. Jacqueline, are you there? Jacqueline? No, no, he hecho. Ah, you haven't done it. Okay, cool. Carla, you finished? Why is it taking it so long, Carla? A ver. Es que estoy pensando y no, me, no se me ocurre nada. Simplemente escojo el verbo. Quiere ir acompañando la oración, el deset. All right, that's what you gotta pay attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let me see who else is, is missing. This is crazy. It's just nine people. That's weird. Okay, but uh, all right, it, it's understandable. Okay, uh, that remember when we use this structure in simple, all right, uh, negatives. It's because it's when we talk about something, all right, that. We are in a somehow bad at the moment of do it. Okay, let's remember that part. So let's go now with the manual. Give me one second. I am going to place the part of the manual that we're going to be doing right now. Give me a second, I'm just putting this. I am in, I got, I got this. Okay, look at this. 
uh, in here, what we basically have is a short form of, you know, should, at the moment of speaking it in Spanish and also, right, in English, okay? Now, take a look at the conversation that we got in there. The conversation, the short conversation is between Claudia and Raul. It says, listen to your instructor read the conversation, then practice with a partner. That's something that we're about to do. It says, Claudia, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, listen up. Robert is addicted to his phone. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? It says, Raul, you're right. You're right. Enough. He shouldn't or he should not chat in a meeting. He should not chat in a meeting. It says, Claudia, absolutely, that's not possible. Absolutely, that's not possible. All right, that's what it says there. Okay. They says, let me see. That's not polite. Now, Raul says, he should answer his messages after the meeting. Listen, he should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. That's not polite either, all right? And it says, Claudia, agree. We should help him instead. Agree. We should help him instead. Instead. Okay. From the vocabulary that you got in here, do you have any question? Del pequeño y corto vocabulario que tenemos ahí, ¿hay alguna pregunta con alguna palabra que no comprendamos? Either teacher. Either. 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 Okay. Ah, ok. Cool. Either es para decir tampoco. Cuando estamos negando, pero de manera positiva, por así decirlo. Ok. Ya, yeah, men, no creo que más adelante vamos a ver esas partes de cómo hacer eso. Usando either and neither. Ok. Cool. So, that's para decir tampoco. Son um, something else. Agree, teacher. Agree, estoy de acuerdo. Okay. Agree means estar de acuerdo. Something else that might not be, you know, like. Uh, teacher, instead. Instead. Uh, instead es como en vez de o en lugar de. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Okay, cool. It says, agree. We should help him instead. Ah, estoy de acuerdo. Okay, deberíamos de ayudarlo. Okay. Acá se refiere a que arriba lo están criticando. Okay, entonces acá es como quien dice, ah, estoy de acuerdo. En vez de criticarlo, como dice arriba, deberíamos de ayudarlo. Right? That's what it says over there. Cool. Jesus Christ, it's not getting connected. Okay, anyways, any other word? Alguna otra palabra que no conozcamos? Or oh, that was everything. O eso era todo. Okay, I guess everything was that. Excuse me, teacher. Either. Either. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me see. I'm gonna turn down. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna make this part, but 
but we gotta practice this a little bit. Vamos a practicar esta pequeña conversación. It's, it's pretty short, all right? The idea here is just for you to practice as much as you can the uses of true in positive and in negative statements, okay? Let's go. I will give this for a couple of minutes. Vamos a hacerlo por unos cinco minutos and then we're gonna come back in here because we have something to finish in the manual. Let me see. How many people are we right now? 11 people. From those 11 people, there are some of them that are not participating. Carlos, were you about to say something? No, no, le dije que solo somos 10 personas. Ponte con usted. Ah, ya, man. Ese es de los números más bajos que tengo en, 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 en videoconferencia. I don't know why. Super weird. But anyways, let's go and practice. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm making the groups. Okay. No, I'm going to put in here. Okay, this person, this one, and this one, this one. Give me one second. I'm organizing because some of you are not going to participate. Okay, cool. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to practice for a while this, this structure, okay? Cool, let's go. Let's go. Y se me sacó Zoom. Ay, a mí eso es lo que estoy viendo. Pero no le aparece todavía lo del, lo del mensaje. ¿Y poderse agregar? Permítame, no. lo voy a pasar a otro lado. Entonces, voy a pasar el salón. Dos. ¿Ahora? Gracias. Entonces, ¿con quién empiezo? Empieza con él. Vaya. I can't believe it. Robert is addict to his phone. Es adicto al teléfono. Usted me siente identificada. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> are, you addicted, are you addicted to the cell phone? Sí, solo viendo TikTok paso. <risa> no sé qué tiene TikTok. Un imán. <risa> okay. Hola, hola. No le escucho muy bien, Carlos. Vale, vamos a ver. Eh, hoy sí, hoy sí. Absolutely. That is not polite. 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 
his messages after him, and we shall not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We shall help him instead. Okay. Ahora yo comienzo. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messenger after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We shall help him instead. Me equivoqué en alguno, Ticho. No. Corríjame, corríjame. Ok. Right. Comienzo yo. Sí. Uh -huh. I can't believe it, Robert, is addicted to him. Did you see him? We, we shall help. Pronuncia, we shall help, help him. We shall? We shall help him. Sería agree, we shall have green. Him, him. Him, him. Dice la última palabra, instead, eso, instead. Instead, instead, ajá. Instead. Exactly. Ok, bueno, entonces volvemos otra vez, este, ya que el... Me comienzo. I can didn't... Robert is adding to his iPhone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. He should... He should not chat in a meeting. Actually, that is not right. He should answer ans well, his mess, mess, ¿cómo era? Mess, mess, yes. ¿Cómo es esa palabra, hermano? Message. Yeah, message. 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 After the meeting. And we should know tell, tell, ¿cómo era? Talk. Talk, talk about him. That not polite error. error. Agree. We should help you instead. Very good. Okay. Let's yes. practice. Me okay. Hoy va Carlos. Vaya Carlos, empiece. Well, boy. Uh, I can't believe it, brother. If I look at you, he's wrong. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Either. Agree. Either. We should help him instead. Okay, so basically you got uh, you got already finished, right? With the practice. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We are, we are ready. Perfect. Let's go back then. Let's go back. Give me one second. Um, all right, let's see you there. Okay.
Dice, si Estela no me ha escuchado nada. Jesus, man, and I was super emo eh, eh, feeling emotional. <laughs> y que estaba dando mi discurso ahí en everything, man, in this, this thing. Okay, cool. Michelle, let's go, Michelle. You're the first one that appears on the line. Con Emmanuel y con Carlos. Go. All right, perfect. Vaya. I can't believe it, brother. Is added, added to his addicted. phone. Addicted. Addicted. Addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Empieza con conmigo o con Juan. Ah, con usted. Bueno, eh, you're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Very yeah, good. Ahora no. con Emmanuel. Okay. Oye, ¿qué empieza usted, Emmanuel? Perfecto. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to phone. Did you see him? You're, you're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not right. He should answer, answer, as he is. Answer, answer uh -huh. His messages after the meeting. And we should not tell about him. That not polite either. 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 Hungry. We should help him instead. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So we got that one, right? Thank you, Carlos, Emanuel, and Michelle. You did it excellent. Now, Carla and company. And Veronica, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to him phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. Does he not pull pol lines? He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we shall not talk about him. That's not polite either. Either. Yeah. Agree. We shall help him instead. Very good. There you go. Ah, okay. So you were both only you, right? Cool. Thank you to you both girls. Now let's move on to the next one. And if I'm not grown, now it's Carlos Mauricio's group torn. Let's go, Mister. With with Miss Jacqueline Hor and Jorge. Okay, let's go. Comienzo con Jorge o con Jacqueline. As you think, man. Uh, como estuvieron practicando. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He sure not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after to meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay, very good. Now then to the next.
who's going to practice with uh, Jacqueline. Comienzo yo. Sí, comienzo ya que pero no sé que, por quién iría con Jorge o con. Okay, let's let's do it, Carlos. Okay. I can deliver to fall the you head in. You're right. Fish are not chatting at meeting. A solid day is Absolute. not actual. Absolutely. Absolutely. Day is no poly. Light. He shall answer his messages after the meetings, and we shall not talk about him. That's not polite either. Mm -hmm. That's not polite either. All right. He he hold hang is down. Okay, I agree. We should help him instead. Okay, so we should help him. Remember, that's the one. Okay, very good, Jacqueline. Thank you. And thank you, uh, Carlos, for participating both times. That was good for you. For you. Now, let's move, okay, to this one, to this part. All right. Let's an app. It says in here, the way that someone acts is in different situation okay this is just gonna talk about the behaviors about the company the grammar part right but this is something that you don't uh, you don't need anymore because you know it now this one it says listen provide a suggestion about the next situations at work okay it says listen peter is in the, is a new supervisor he likes to give orders. He never says please. Okay. So in that case, it says, Peter should ask polite requests. All right. Or Peter should say, listen up, please, when he asks for something. Okay. So what are we going to do in here? Basically, I, we have a short description in here. Tenemos una pequeña descripción acá, en las cuales nosotros acá, en esta parte acá, vamos a escribir pequeñas sugerencias usando positivos y negativos con el verbo should. Ok. From this short part over here. So, básicamente de esta partecita over here. Ok. Vamos a escribir. Y here, dos oraciones usando ya sea should o should not. Ok. Let's go with that. Creo que ese sería el último ejercicio que vamos a hacer. Creo que en tres minutos lo hacemos. Ok. What are we going to do with that? Let's do the same dynamic. Vamos a hacer la misma dinámica. And what's the dynamic? Let's go exactamente at 10. Listen up. At 10 o'clock. I turn you back in here. And we finish with the class time. Ok. Cool. Let's go. Give me one second. I just put this. I just grab this. Okay. Let's open it up. Y así en parejas creo que lo vamos a hacer un poco más rápido. Okay. Let's go. I think in three minutes we can do it. Let's get joined to your to your classmates. So you can do it faster. Let's go with them. Let's go, people. Are you there? El cuadrito. Yo no alcancé. Hola, teacher. Hello. Ahorita me llegaron a mi casa. Okay, cool, man. This is the, the, the cuadrito, como usted dice. <laughs> ah, ahí está el cuadrito. <laughs> Vaya. En lo que llego. En lo que llego me ayuda. 
para buscar el manual. Vaya, Carlos, acabo de mandar una, una screenshot que... al grupo de WhatsApp. Perfecto, perfecto. Hay que Nice, man. Y es como hay que darle como sugerencia. Es como usando usando su, usando should y should not. Exactly. Dependiendo okay. de lo que dice en cada una de las partes ahí. Ok. All right, let's go. Vaya. Espérenme que. Que alguien empiece, que ando buscando las llaves de la puerta. Ok, let's go. Carlos, eh, no debería gritar, entonces sería. No es Carlos, es Carlos. Con... Sería Shorvent. Okay, how do you go here? Como vamos acá. Metiendo la primera estaba teacher. Ah, okay. Entonces como si no estamos por couch or not angry. Okay. Let me see. When Carlos is angry, but things are not as expect, he shouts. He should not shout, for example. Uh -huh. Should not shout, no debería de gritar. Exactly, exactly. One and one, no se compliquen. Vamos una a una, positivo o negativo, ¿ok? So that way you might finish faster. Ok, o sea que de esta es negativa, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero así como le habíamos puesto que estaba, que no debería de gritar y tenía más, tener más paciencia. Ah, ok, that's another option. Hello, are you about to finish? Mm, más o menos. No yet. No yet, ok. Mm. Or should we... Carlos, Carlos debería eh, Carlos debería estar tranquilo Ah, ah sí, puede ser así ¿Y cómo es en inglés? <risa> Carlos should be Carlos should be Ah, yo. No, vamos a terminar. Be, ah, be called. Should be called. Vaya. Coin, dijo. Coin, hold. Como ¿Ah? dijo, <risa> big calm, calm, es como de calma. Así, ¿verdad? Ah, Carlos, should ah, okay. be calm. Should be ah. calm. Vale. Entonces, en la dos hemos dejado Carl should be calm and Carl should be calm. 
Okay, should I shout? Perfect. Uh -huh. No debería gritar. Very good. Okay. Okay, y la otra dice... Que es sal, sal, techo. ¿Cómo se dice? Let me see, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not checking. Never uses salutations in his email. Salutation is saludo. Salud. Saludo. Ah, saludo. Yeah. Mi asistente nunca usa saludos en los emails. Yes. Um, ella debería saludar, así, así te lo Ajá, ok. She show. Show. Y saludar, así mismo. Greet. Puede cambiarlo, puede ponerle greet. Ah, uh -huh. greet. Uh -huh. Solo así hablar en la mujer. No, no, bueno. no, no, no. Okay. Eh, la otra sería. Eh, Uh -huh. Espérame que se me perdió. <risa> sí, no, pero... En una negativa, pero no, no se me ocurre. ¿Cómo es? Uh -huh. The same one, con la misma. Uh -huh. Como usted dijo que eran dos, por, por qué cuadro. My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Ok. My assistant should not be rude. ¿Qué es eso? Should not be rude. No debería ser. Ah, como maleducada, rude, ah. ruda. Al momento. Ah, listo, eso había pensado. <laughs> okay. We are synchronized. <laughs> should not. Shall not be. Podría deletrear la palabra última. All right. What did I say? ¿Cuál era la palabra? Ay, My assistant shall not be. Y ya se me olvidó. Rude. Rude. Ah, uh, okay. R-O-O-T. Uh, no, no. 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 R-U-V-E. R. -U -V -E. R O, I mean, R, U, okay, D, E, Rude, Rude, Lucy likes, all right, are you about to finish or did you finish, guys? Pero la última yeah, estamos haciendo, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. So, creo que en un minuto la terminan, all right? Cool. That's pretty cool. Let's see number two. Hello, are you about to finish or did you finish? Uh, the last one. Okay, perfect, perfect. The last one. You should then... She should then make jokes. Como de no hacer broma. Uh -huh. She shouldn't do yacht in his yacht. In her yacht, sorry. In, in her, her yacht, actually, yeah. Yes. That's going to be the last one, right? Yes. Perfect. Okay. No debería gritar. Pero sería casi lo mismo que en el segundo. Bueno, pero como ahora es Lucy, no es Carl. Ajá. <risa> okay. okay, hurry up, hurry como, up. Como Lucy debería hablar de, eh, más suave. Well, ajá. ¿Ah? Ajá. ¿Cómo sería? Lucy Show. 
¿Cómo sería más suave? Tall, 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 hot. Were you saying something? I didn't listen that much, Veronica. Come, come. Did you say something? Dijo algo. Es que no la escucho mucho. No, yo dije eh, Lucy show tall eh, fall. No sé cómo se dice. F O -E -E, no, perdón. S O F T. Soft. Soft. Ajá, soft es suave. ¿Cómo, cómo? Si Ajá. es más suave ¿Cómo? en cuanto a voz, softer. Softer. Uh -huh. Lucy Shaw talk softer. Así. More softer. More softer. Nah, I mean only softer. Solamente uh -huh. softer, sin, sin uh -huh. el more. Okay. Sin el more. Okay. Cool. So, okay. con, eso, con eso estaría todo, ¿cierto? Okay. Yes. Perfecto. Let's go to the main section porque creo que Ya esto mañana lo, me lo van a leer, ¿ok? I'm just, uh, ok, uh, trying to get to know with you to finish this, and tomorrow we're going to continue with that part. Let's go to the main section. See you there. Ok. All right, people, listen up. Uh, because of the time, I just I just got you together for you to finish that part. But listen up, listen. By tomorrow we're gonna read this part because today is just like two. On Saturday. You know, like 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 huh? Tomorrow Saturday, right? Mm, Jesus Christ. Yes. Man, I thought for sure. I thought it was so, Monday or something. For me, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> no va a, no a trabajar mañana <laughs> Jesus Christ Ey, es cierto, es, es viernes según, según yo ya íbamos inicio de semana man. I want the time flies <laughs> No, listen so, Entonces para el próximo lunes y Este va a ser como el, 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 el topic de bienvenida okay, En la cual ustedes me van a leer Las oraciones que ustedes mismos hicieron Sobre los pequeños prompts Que tenemos ahí Con relación a los usos de should and shouldn't Ok, that's what we're going to be doing. Ya no los voy a entretener mucho más acá. Ya les acabo de robar 11, 12 minutos. And that's not fair. So I'm going to pass the attendance list. And after that, ok, we are going to go to bed. Give me one second. All right, guys. Because I have been having some issues with you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I have been having a lot of issues with this with these things related to the to the 10 minutes feedback. All right. And I think with most of you I have been with the with the feedbacks. So Veronica, I will need your help today, okay? Okay. Yeah, because ya ya ellos la gran bueno, prácticamente todos los que tengo acá ya me pasaron con los 10 minutos de feedback y Debido a la, a la poca influencia de los, de los participantes, hay muchos que solo se conectan y están como oyentes and, and they don't participate. So that's why I had to go down and down and down, okay? Cool. So I'm going to pass the attendance list and uh, that's going to be everything for tonight. Andres Joel. Okay, he's there, but I don't know if he's there. Carlos Mauricio. Present, teacher. Nice, Mr. Cindy Melanie is not here. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Perfect. Ivania Yamilet. No, me never, ni many. She went away. Uh, Jacqueline Patricia. Present. Okay, perfect. Joanna Sarai. Uh, she couldn't get connected. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Perfect. Jose Edgar is not here. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Julio Cesar. All right, neither Julio. 
Karen Beatriz, she got some troubles. Carla Lisette. Present. Excellent. Raquel Stephanie. No, she's not here. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, let me see. Wendy Jamilet, she got connected. So I'm going to put this one. Uh, William Ernesto, he couldn't get connected. Xiomara Elizabeth, you got to go. Carlos Josue, he had problems with the internet. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here. Okay, people, have a wonderful weekend. Espero tengan un excelente fin de semana. Nos vemos el lunes, okay? With, you know, like battery full. Let's go to sleep, people. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. All right. And I'm going to take out Andres. Give me one second. Uh, put in the waiting room. Lo vamos a poner así porque ya el mínimo se durmió. Okay, Veronica. This is going to be just the 10 minutes of feedback. Just, just to, uh, you know, like, clarify any question that you might have with the topics that we were discussing. So, cualquier eh, duda que usted pueda tener, recuerde que acá, pues, esos 10 minutos de feedback simplemente es para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener, ya sea con este tema o con los temas anteriores. Ok. Creo que con este tema estoy bien porque es como de dar un consejo, entonces me quedó claro, Ajá. quizás con los de ayer como entender más o menos la diferencia o realmente se puede aplicar cualquiera de los dos ah, o okay. depende del contexto en que lo no, voy a ese, utilizar el, el gold y el coat no, en ese realmente se pueden utilizar cualquiera de los dos ok, uh, porque básicamente ambos eh, van encaminados a dar uh, o a solicitar algo de manera un tanto formal, right? Porque básicamente, eh, según las estructuras, es lo mismo decir, could you open the door? Uh, like, podrías abrir la puerta, ok? Uh, lo mismo que, que, que diga, would you mind opening the door? ¿Te importaría abrir la puerta? So you see, entonces, ambas eh, preguntas, ok? Tienen un mismo fin, un mismo significado, pero con diferente estructura. Una, el verbo principal, está con ING y la otra está con uh -huh. verbo en forma base. ¿Ok? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, básicamente lo, eh, viene siendo uh, a lo mismo. ¿All right? Vienen siendo lo mismo. Y, y la, para responder de forma negativa en el WOM, es igual que con... No, con o con... Show. Lo podríamos hacer así, like, no, I can't. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in that case, mm -hmm. all right? Y con will sería... Give me one second. No, I wouldn't. De that. Uh -huh. Y ahí inclusive le podemos eh, agregar mind. No, I wouldn't mind. Ok. Ya, yeah, I mean, dos, dos ones, like. Ajá. Por lo general, ese tipo de preguntas casi siempre van en positivo. Porque son preguntas de, 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 de las cuales uh, son, como, mm -hmm. son como solicitudes un tanto cortas, por así decirlo. Algo, algo bien sencillo, por, por así decirlo. All right. So, entonces, por lo general, ese tipo de, eh, de preguntas suelen ser un tanto básicas y la respuesta suele ser positiva casi todo el tiempo, right Podría ser que rara vez digan no, right Obviamente, si alguien en su trabajo le dice, Verónica, ¿podría abrirme la puerta? Obviamente, usted le va a decir que sí, lo va a hacer, right No le va a decir, no, no, no lo hago, <risa> right that, that wouldn't be like kind of impossible, entonces sería un tanto casi imposible. Ya luego más adelante vamos a ver los usos de would, pero ya solo. Ya no would con el would you mind, sino que ya would como verbo auxiliar solo. 
así como hemos estado practicando los usos de, de should. All right? Así vamos a ver would también ya separado de esa expresión. Porque ahorita lo que hemos hecho es ver would you mind como una expresión. Como me importaría, right? pero would por sí solo tiene diferentes, eh, por así decirlo, campos en los cuales se puede desenvolver de acuerdo al tipo de pregunta que hagamos u oración que nosotros podamos fabricar. Right? Ok. Yes. Vaya. Este, otra cosita. Uh -huh. eh, con el pasado participio. ¿Cierto? Yes, pas participio. Espera, que ya había días que vimos eso. <risa> Pero es que yo no logré los usos como... de fácil voice. No logré como, ajá, no logré como entender, vaya en español, qué sería el pasado participio, porque, ajá, por el ejemplo, pas el pasado algo que ya pasó. ¿verdad? Exacto. Bueno, aquí el participio es que ya pasó, pero no ha terminado bien o cómo. No, es algo que igual ya pasó también, solo que, solo que eh, en este caso es cuando nosotros al verbo en pasado le agregamos el edo o ido al verbo, mm. por lo general, ¿ok? O ado, edo, ido, algo así, ya. Yeah. Por ejemplo, el verbo eat, comer, right En pasado, ate, comí, ¿ok? En pasado participio o past participle, eaten sería el verbo. Y la traducción sería comido. Sí, comido. <risa> Ay, no creo que voy a estudiar más ese y tema. Usted, y usted se preguntará, ¿y cómo caramba voy a utilizar comido? <risa> no, listen, hay estructuras. Como he comido. Oh. Ah. Give me one second, what did I do? No es lo mismo que comido. Oh. Ah. No, man, that's, 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 that's the way, yeah, exactly. That's the way. Entonces. Quizás es algo más reciente que decir comí. No, es que, que vaya, es, es usado, es usado eh, en esa estructura que usted dice. Y me voy a hacer con put this. Voy a poner esta parte. Eh, en esa parte que usted ha mencionado, como he comido, se le conoce como presente perfecto. Y se escribe así, mira. I have eaten. Por así decirlo, pupusas this week. He comido pupusas este, esta semana. You see? Ok. ¿Cómo funciona esta estructura? Listen. A este se la conoce como presente perfecto. ¿Por qué? Porque, porque al momento de hacerse funcionar, el presente perfecto dice que se refiere a acciones que comenzaron en un tiempo en el pasado y todavía esa acción se vuelve a repetir en el presente y probablemente a futuro se vuelva a repetir. ¿Cómo así? Si usted dice, he comido pupusas esta semana, la semana no ha acabado. Por así decirlo, la semana se termina el domingo. ¿Ok? Entonces usted tiene chance de comer pupusas ahora. Tiene chance de comer pupusas mañana. Ya sería futuro. Tiene chance del domingo. All right? Ahí es futuro también. Entonces, a eso se le conoce como present perfect o presente perfecto. Por una actividad que inició en el pasado, llega al presente y todavía no ha terminado y tiene eh, la oportunidad de continuar a futuro. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si usted dice, mire, I have studied, ¿Ok? Module 3. I have studied module 3. He estudiado módulo 3. What happened in this case? En este caso, sabemos que usted inició hace dos semanas a estudiar el módulo 3. Ok. Todavía lo está estudiando y faltan dos semanas para que lo termine. So, entonces, es una actividad que empezó en el pasado. Right. Viene al presente y tiene el chance de continuar a futuro. Right? A eso entonces se le conoce como presente perfecto. Right? Remember. Pero la estructura del pasado participio la estábamos practicando con algo que se llama passive voice. No sé si se acuerdan. Sí. 
Passive uh -huh. voice. Ok, y no sé si recuerda cómo usábamos la passive voice. Mm, es cuando hablamos de el sujeto y cuando se destaca más el sujeto, ¿no? En este caso es cuando se destaca más la acción. Ah, la acción. Que quien hace Al la primer. acción. <risa> Por ejemplo, si yo digo, miren. Verónica, porque hay dos formas. Listen, hay dos formas de, de voz. Tenemos uh -huh. la active voice, que es la que todos usamos. Por ejemplo. Verónica. What? Tiene sueño. <risa> nah, look at this. Buys a dog. Verónica mm -hmm. compra un perro. Ok. Ahora bien, en la, uh, en la passive voice, aquí es un tanto diferente. En la active voice, usted es quien se enfatiza más en la oración, en lo que usted hizo. Ahora bien, en la passive voice no es ok, eh, enfatizarla a usted, sino la acción que usted hizo. Por ejemplo, yo voy a comenzar a dog is boat si ve, is ya es forma del verbo to be uh -huh. is y boat es el pasado participio del verbo by ok, a dog is boat by Verónica Ah, un perro es comprado por Verónica. Yo sé. Uh -huh. Entonces acá la que tiene más énfasis es la acción que usted hizo, no usted como tal. All right? so, entonces esa es, esa es como la diferencia entre estos dos. Y para los usos de la passive voice, sí. El verbo principal tiene que ir en pasado participio. Right? Siempre tiene que ir en pasado participio porque lo que estamos haciendo acá es tomar, tomar como más relevancia eh, lo que se hace y no la persona que hace la acción. Right? Así de aquí a front de esa estructura. Entonces es la idea de esta estructura. Yeah. ¿Qué es lo único que hay que hacer? Acá, pues básicamente, con respecto a lo del presente perfecto, más a futuro se va a ver. Creo que en el, en el siguiente módulo se va a ver esa estructura del present perfect en la cual usamos los past participles también. Y pues ya, si ya tenemos un poco de conocimiento de lo del passive voice, se nos va a ser un tanto sencillo el uso de los verbos en pasado participio. Pero sí, eh, sería necesario, eh, bueno, más que todo, a modo de consejo, de ir aprendiéndose un par de verbos, por lo menos, right, en pasado participio. Sí. Porque sí, cuando se vengan a usar estas estructuras, luego no se queda así como... Lo hay, pero no me acuerdo de este verbo o no me he aprendido de este verbo en pasado participio, right? Porque sí, mm -hmm. se, util, se utilizan los tres, las tres formas del verbo. Vaya. Yeah. Bueno, creo que solo eso, esas eran como las pequeñas yeah. dudas. Ah, no, ok, cool. Mm -hmm. Igual, si vuelve a surgir una duda, pues creo que más adelante eh, igual voy a poner a repetir algunos de ustedes para otro feedback, ya que eh, muchos de sus compañeros, pues, solo se conectan como oyentes en la set y, pues, van a quedar esos espacios así para poder aclarar cualquier otra duda. Igual con no. los temas que, que vienen para esta semana próxima y la, la última. ¿Eh? Bueno. Cool, Verónica. Perfecto. So, entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, espero tengan un feliz fin de semana and see you on Monday, ¿ok? Gracias. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.